Hey guys, it's Nikos here, or what's up? I'm making this thing called the Test Recorder, which is a way to record integration tests and generate tests that you can then copy and paste into your own integration tests. There's quite a few integration test frameworks out there. There's Nightwatch, which uses Node.js to run uh, Selenium browser-based tests. There's Protractor, which does something similar, but it's got a bit more uh, specialized hooks for Angular. Also, Ember apps have a, a CLI where um, you can run integration tests with the Ember CLI framework. And there's also something called Test Cafe. Now, my ambition is to have this test recorder, this is the UI for the test recorder, enable to record integration tests for all of these four, four frameworks, um, testing frameworks. And also, the way it's designed, my test recorder is as a plug-in architecture to allow other languages to be supported. This is the test recorder repository here. So let me just demonstrate you this test recorder in action. So at the moment I've developed it to work with Nightwatch with some basic support. The way it works is there's a combination of browser events and mutation observers that this thing will record when an on-click happens. Now this button doesn't have any side effect, but you can see the test is generated. So for Nightwatch, to simulate a click, you type browser click, and what it does is my test recorder figures out uh, if, this, um, if this doesn't have an ID, then it will generate the path, a short path, well as short a path as possible, to simulate a click on this, and <coughs> then pause the browser, because then there might be some time delay between this clicking this button and then some effect happening. So let's, this button here will actually create a div here in the, the in this page, and it will the, the test recorder will be able to see uh, what's happened. So let's just click this button. So there's this div here that's been generated, and the test recorder has says, okay, let's click this button, and then expect this new element, which is this one here, to be present. And if you remove it, it will generate a test to say that expect this element to not be present. Furthermore, um, if you click on an input, type some text in here, which will then change the text here when the focus is left. So you can see here, one, two, three, four. And then the integration test basically says assert that this input mutation is this value. And similarly for a select input, then if we change the value, this updates this here, and the integration test recorder knows that you need to click the select and a certain value, and then to uh, assert that this text uh, is value two here. So what we can do is we can copy this text, and then if we go into our test recorder here, there's a test folder, which I've created a sample for uh, Nightwatch tests, and the way, uh, what I'm actually doing is, I will then run this app again, but being automated by the test framework. So this uh, Nightwatch test, I've got a test here. And so if I just delete this, and copy paste our code, uh, it, the browser will then, this uh, Nightwatch will open this application and run these tests against it. Now there's a slight error on uh, this, this thing here, it's not working exactly correctly, so I'm just going to comment this out, but I've raised an issue with this on Nightwatch, so that, that should work soon. Um, so what I'm doing is, in my terminal, I, I'm going to run Nightwatch, and that's going to run this test in the browser. So it's going to open, open up, it's going to start Selenium server, and it's going to open up the browser and run these tests against it. So, yeah, so that's passed. See, it's done all these tests and recorded them. Now, if there's a failing test, so for example, if we change this value to something like value three, and then we rerun this, we should see a failing test. Yep, so that worked nicely. This one here, I have, there's a slight issue with the, the input. Uh, I need to double check with the guys on the, the Nightwatch repository. I'm also getting in touch with the Protractor guys and the Test Cafe guys and the Ember guys, and they will be able to help me uh, 
develop a plugins for um, the other languages. So yeah, we'll fix this soon. So the idea is uh, the code, so for example, the code generators, they all extend this something called the iCode generator. So these are things that all these generators have in common. Click happens, input, text, edited, changes, elements, and all this stuff. So the Nightwatch generator is the one that uh, I'm using at the moment. And then when I, once I get the protractor guys involved, I will uh, they will help me to write uh, the strings for protractor. So that's a very gentle introduction to this. Um, this will hopefully save us guys a lot of time writing code. Uh, especially integration tests and I'm going to be extending this to support more interactions and provide more reliable tests and just see how this thing grows and how the community likes it. So thanks for watching and see you later. Bye.